So what is vulnerability assessment? So we have a security assessment, which consists of hunting for vulnerabilities, doing a lot of stuff that's looking for security problems, might be physical security, and then another little piece of that puzzle is a pen test, right? So these are all in parallel. So what is a vulnerability assessment? A vulnerability assessment is an examination of the ability of a system or application, including current security procedures and controls, to withstand assaults. Okay, that, that's a pretty good definition. If it recognizes, measures, and classifies security vulnerabilities in a computer system network or communication channels. So it, it recognizes certain problems. So people publish known vulnerabilities. So part of a vulnerability assessment is to go and look those up and see if any of them are present on your network. And those are almost always vulnerability scanners, right? They're tools. A vulnerability assessment may be used to do one of the following. Identify weaknesses that could be exploited. So we have a known vulnerability. There is an exploit out for it. There's no evidence of it in our logs, so we haven't been hit yet. So let's go ahead and remove the vulnerability. Let's patch that program or whatever it is that needs to be done to remove the vulnerability. It might be something in a router, needs a new firmware update, you know, something like that. And then vulnerability assessments may be used to predict the effectiveness of additional security measures in protecting information resources from attack. For example, denial of, denial of service vulnerabilities. We went and bought Akamai or something like that. Now we're bulletproof for DOS, right? Well, no, because denial of service, if they're attacking your DNS, Akamai will help. If they're attacking a certain system that Akamai is watching, that will help. But what if they skip Akamai and go right to your IP address versus coming through the DNS? Then you've still, you're still susceptible, right? So there's many ways to skin the DOS cat um, as far as beating the protection. So you want to make sure that the stuff's not routable, that it's being handled and set up properly um, through the proper routing protocols, and then it wouldn't be susceptible, right? Because there's no way to get to your IP unless you go through the DNS, that kind of thing. So there's many different ways to do that. We won't speak specific uh, to specific technologies there, but um, just keep that in mind. Uh, also for applications, you may be able to handle a million incoming connections per second or a billion or 500 megabits, let's just say uh, a gigabit per second sustained connections. Um, but then somebody finds a flaw in the program and then starts exploiting that flaw and then they only needed three connections to do it. Now you're still, you're still susceptible to DOS because you put all of your money into that bucket instead of a good wide security research program, okay? So vulnerabilities can, be, can manifest themselves in many, many, many different ways. A vulnerability scanner will not catch them all. A penetration test is pretty good, but only as good as the people performing the test. So that's another weakness with penetration testing. So you, you have to kind of balance it, right? Security in depth. Put a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Hopefully we catch them, right? That's kind of what you want to look at. So there's different types of vulnerability assessment. There's an active assessment, uses a network scanner to find hosts, services, and vulnerabilities. So this is a thing that's been pre-programmed with all of the known vulnerabilities today for all the known programs today. And it's gonna go out and just troll your network and look for these vulnerabilities. And then we have a passive assessment. It's a technique used to sniff the network traffic to find out the active systems, network services, applications, and vulnerabilities present. So you may not have a list of all the machines on your network, this thing will listen to the traffic and figure out who's talking and when. But what if you have a couple of zombie machines there that aren't doing anything, which is the definition of a zombie machine, right? It's just not doing anything. There's no active communication. So maybe your passive assessment missed that computer altogether. So there's no replacement for knowing your network. But what if you don't, there's no way to know your network because it's huge. You just started last week and now you've been told to go do an assessment on this network, but nobody knows what the footprint is. So you gotta go scan, you gotta work with the, the operations team and figure out what the inventory is and what they know about and stuff like that and just start building lists. And then we have host-based assessments, which determines the vulnerabilities in a specific workstation or server. So we have the host-based version versus the network-based. And then you have internal assessments, a technique used to scan the internal infrastructure to find out the exploits and vulnerabilities. So really you want to find out um, 
what vulnerabilities exist, and then you go look up, are there exploits for these vulnerabilities? If there are, those need to be fixed right away because those are known. And then external assessments um, addresses the network from a hacker's point of view to find out what exploits and vulnerabilities are accessible to the outside world. So this is literally what's exposed to the outside world. Now, a lot of organizations will just go and say, oh, well, that's internal. We're going to focus on the external. Well, that's a big problem because it's not that difficult to break into an org. There's a lot of ways to do it, right? We talked about phishing earlier. That's just one. So uh, there's no one-stop shop fixes all. You need to do a balance of all of these different techniques and kind of spread your security in depth, right? Don't discount the internal systems. If you want to prioritize the external versus internal, that's fine. We all have limited resources and budgets, but don't forget the internal. So application assessments. Test the web server's infrastructure for misconfigurations and known vulnerabilities. You need to be constantly scanning for these things, right? Um, some organizations push um, new software updates constantly, so you need to be constantly checking to make sure the configuration is still intact. They didn't miss something. They didn't push something out in debug mode or something like that. Network assessments determine the possible network security attacks that may occur on the organization's systems. And then wireless network assessments determines the vulnerabilities in the organization's wireless networks. So this is a big one as well because people can be sitting in the parking lot and still accessing your network. The Home Depot and Target breaches occurred because of some flaws in their wireless. Mm -hmm.